Ladies and gentlemen, expectation versus reality has been a meme that has been circulating the internet for quite some time. If you were into PC gaming when DirectX 12 Ultimate was announced, for example, you may recall a lot of uh, discussion regarding sampler feedback, direct storage, and so on. And this, of course, meant that games, in theory, would be able to essentially put data into the GPU as required. And in theory, and again, there's that word, the amount of VRAM on a GPU would need to be a little less, and it would basically mirror more what Microsoft have done with, their, say, their Xbox Series consoles. Unfortunately, the reality is, well, it does take time for developers to actually leverage this stuff, and it certainly doesn't help in cases where the port hasn't exactly been great. And there has been a lot of criticism regarding ports over the past year or so in PC gaming, but also at NVIDIA, and to a lesser degree AMD, concerning the amount of VRAM that they have plonked onto their previous generation and this generation of GPUs. When we were first hearing about the RTX 4060 Ti, there were quite a number of eyebrows raised the fact it would only feature 8 gigabytes of VRAM. But more recently, there have been some reports that we would also see a 16 gigabyte variant as well. And videocards.com have leaked the specifications of this GPU. Now, the primary difference, aside from the fact that, of course, we have double the amount of memory, is the TDP, which goes up by uh, 5 watts. So it's 165 watt TDP versus 160 watt. However, the number of CUDA cores remains identical, 4,352, and of course the memory bus also is 128 gigabyte across both variants, and it seems as well that the clock frequency of the memory is also consistent. So basically we have 288 gigabytes per second of bandwidth. Now you can't directly compare that against the previous generation because of numerous architectural changes between uh, RTX 30 and RTX 40, for example, the amount of L2 cache has increased. But either way, they have basically achieved this, of course, with a clamshell configuration. It seems that the release date for this GPU is going to be July, as has previously been discussed on the channel. The GPU itself will be based on AD106351 versus AD106350 of the RTX 4060 Ti 8GB. And I would like to issue a plea to everyone please do not buy the 8 gigabyte variant unless there is a significant difference in price. Because let's assume that the price of the 16 gigabyte isn't that much more expensive than, well, in my personal opinion, it would not be a wise decision to buy the 8 gigabyte variant. If, however, the 16 gigabyte is very close to the 4070 in price, then you can do a cost analysis from there. We've discussed pricing on the channel a, new, a lot of times at this point. Frankly, I don't believe any price until we actually, of course, have a formal announcement from NVIDIA. But it seems that we're probably going to be paying around 400 to 450 US dollars for the 4060 Ti, uh, depending, of course, on the model and so on and so on. Again, I've received numerous prices, but that's basically what the range I've received has been. Some people are claiming it's going to be 400 US dollars MSRP. Others are claiming a little more expensive. So we'll see. What I will also add is a couple of my sources also telling me that the double VRAM configuration thing is going to be a, well, thing across numerous SKUs, including, of course, the RTX 4060. And yeah, there's not really any surprise there, quite honestly. NVIDIA have done this since the dawn of time. I personally feel that the 4060 with only 8 gigabytes can be arguably okay. Some games like uh, Resident Evil 2 Remake can really eat up VRAM pretty quickly. But you can make an argument that with only 3,072 CUDA cores, arguably, you can, you can make somewhat of an argument that 8 gigs is okay. Um, but I think for the 4060 Ti, which again has 4,352 CUDA cores, I personally feel that 16 gigabyte is like a minimum configuration. Again, that's my personal opinion on this, and it's going to be very interesting to see what the sales figures are between these cards. I would absolutely love it if the 16 gigabyte vastly outsold the uh, 8 gigabyte variant. However, I'm not so sure because 
while the majority of individuals who are watching this channel along with other channels like for example gamers nexus or what have you obviously the audience is a little different i'm just giving an example they typically or you guys will typically do a lot more research and you're probably more knowledgeable than a lot of folks whereas many are just going to kind of buy whatever is the cheapest or just go with recommendations with their friends so it's going to be very interesting i would love to be wrong i would love to see the 4060 ti 16 gigabyte absolutely uh drastically outsold the sales figures of the 8 gigabyte but yeah anyway this is just a shorter video um i just wanted to discuss this because of course we've already been talking a lot about vram updates over the last couple of videos um stick with me because there'll be a couple of cool videos coming up on the channel over the next uh week or so but um yeah i'm just getting back into the swing of things after a couple of days away dealing with stuff um but hopefully you have enjoyed this video if you did well you know what to do subscribe and all of that stuff because it's youtube take care of yourselves guys have an amazing day stay safe bye for now